Hello. Welcome to freeexcellearn.com. It is my 12 number Excel video tutorial. Today I will discuss about user form with checkbox. So let's go for the task. Here I am just click on this show checkbox button and you see that a user form is appear there and the data is come from G column to this checkbox. Okay. And if I check this any on or every checkbox and click on send data then it is going to a column in the same way if i uh, deselect mola fish and uh, suppose dhala fish then i click on send data the Hil ilsha fish is going to the a column so now i am going to detail what i have done in this task actually i done this job uh, in two way number one is uh, number one task is uh, first the g column data will be appear on three checkbox and number two the checkbox selected checkbox will be go to a column this is the main theme okay let's go for the code so for the code i have to go to the developer tab and after that visual basic and here you see the code at first uh, as i click on the checkbox so i have to write the code here so the code will be very easy as it is the user form so uh, i write down here user form dot on dot show and after that i will click on double click on user form and then you see that when i am in design mode then i am showing three checkbox checkbox 1 checkbox 2 and checkbox 3 but when i am not in design mode okay on that time this checkbox caption is changing to the data value okay so i just see you how this data is going to this checkbox caption okay so for this i have to write the code on user from on dot initialize event and uh, this code is also very easy that i have three checkbox and also mention which checkbox is this this is as this is a user form on checkbox one so i have to mention every time this is user form on dot checkbox one this is user form on dot checkbox two and this is user form on dot checkbox three in the same way if you uh, take another user form and that take checkbox then you will be mentioned suppose that user form name is user form two on that time you will be write down user form two dot checkbox one dot caption and if you take another checkbox then you will be write user from two dot checkbox two dot caption okay so for this i take three caption three object name here and uh, the value will be come from the these three cell and that this three cell we can define by this way as this is sheet one so i write here sheet one and the range the range is z1 okay you see that this is z1 and this is g2 and this is g3 so for this i write here 
रेंज इक्वल रेंज कोटेशन जी वन डॉट वैल्यू इन द सेम वे जी टू डॉट वैल्यू जी थ्री डॉट वैल्यू ओके सो इन दिस वे व्हेन यू क्लिक ऑन द इनिशियलाइज बटन द डाटा इज कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस जी कॉलम टू आवर यूजर फ्रॉम ओके नाउ आई एम ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड यू the send button code okay let's see send button code okay so i am going to design mode and double click on send data and here something i am trying to delete this because this code is not necessary and for this the code is all the code is look like very smart so for this i have to retain this code on just i am going it again visual basic and user form then double click on send data in this send data what will i do in this send data i will do uh three or four thing number one i will declare value okay just i am uh, remark said that you may understand it so easily okay so this code is for this two code is for declaring variable okay the remark is l e a r sorry uh, d i c declare variable declare variable okay and this is for error fixing error fixing because uh on some time you will got some error and uh, you will overcome this error by this code so i called it error fixing and the code is on error resume next and after that at uh, uh, i will go number 3 work number 3 work i run a loop okay uh, why i run a loop i want to see that how much controls or how much object is active on my user form one just like this that you see that here is four object number 1 number 2 number 3 and number 4 okay so in this case as i run the loop so i count first the all of the controls so count all the control i have to write a code for a loop and the loop is for each loop and uh, i run the loop for all of my controls and on them on all of the control i have to find out i have to find out check box control okay so you see that last time you have uh, you have four control on user form and with this four control there is three check box okay so it, this is right the way and after that i declare a ero code write a ero code okay this is the code what i discuss my previous tutorial and after that i am going to so when i go to this code i will get a end of row that is my position will be here okay end of row position will be here that means if i send data this data will be input from here here okay the and the start is and it will start from here okay just now i am uh, just now i am going to check the control check box okay so i write down here the type name is each control and the each control name will be check box and this is not the end there is another another condition number one condition it will be a check box 
and the another condition the checkbox value will be true that means when you click on a checkbox this value is true and this value is not true this is not true value okay so i have to check two things that is all of the control you will find checkbox control and after that you will look for true control value true control value okay if this condition is right then you will go to this code and what is this code meaning this code is meaning that this checkbox this checkbox object caption will go to the sheet 1a column okay so i close the condition and i also close the loop so on this way you can use the checkbox control of a user from and uh, if you think that uh, actually i also discuss about this type of object that is option button more detail if you think you want to know more detail you can also look my uh, tutorial number 10 or 11 or 9 this tutorial is also i am discuss about more detail i discuss here okay so thanks for see the tutorial okay thank you